This is the Maxtra pole chainsaw. So this is the box that showed up right on my doorstep. I'm not sure how much assembly is going to be required. Let's open this up, get the parts out, put this thing together and try it out. All right, I got everything out of the box here. There's a little bit of assembly, doesn't look bad at all, but here is the main unit itself. Nice, good looking two stroke motor here on the end of our pole chainsaw. Uh, it is two stroke and there's some great benefits to it being two stroke. For one, it's gonna have more power for its size. Uh, the four strokes, they're reliable, they're good, but you need a much larger engine to get the same power that these little two strokes can make. So it's a lot heavier. So this one's gonna be lighter. The only downside is you do need to mix the gas, but they send along uh, a little gas tank thing here with some measuring stuff on the side for measuring out your fuel. I tend to use a one gallon gas tank like I have sitting over there. And then I buy one of these little two stroke oil mixes and you just dump one of these into one gallon of gas and that gets your mixture perfect. I believe it's a 32 to one. So if you get one of these little cans, a one gallon can, dump it in, you'll be ready to go. And one gallon of gas is gonna last a really long time in a unit like this. All right, so here is the actual pole chainsaw right here. You get this end here, which we'll attach our blade to in a little bit. You can attach this right to this. This gives you, uh, I'd say maybe an eight foot reach or so. And then they also send this extra rod along here, which gives you another four foot out there. what they say this is 16 foot? So, I don't know. It doesn't quite look like 16. Maybe they count your own height. So you get like 12 foot of chainsaw plus your own height and you can reach up 16 foot high, something like that. But the really the only assembly we need to do is get the chain into this right here. I'm just gonna take this nut off. I'm not sure they send, oh, what's in here? All right, so they send all the tools, 10 millimeter wrench, Allen wrenches, screwdriver, little tool kit that comes along. Before I forget, I want to point out, they do send a little accessory bag to store all your accessories in and a case. This case will hold the entire chainsaw when you're not using it. So that's really cool. So let me get this uh, blade installed here. So we're going to take our chain guide here. We'll get our chain out of the package. And this just loops on to this. Then your extra slack here, you're gonna hook around the wheel right here and set that down on. All right, and then there's just a little pin here you align like that. So this pin here will actually act as a guide. You can adjust your tension if your chain starts to stretch over time, you can loosen the screw here and that'll draw that out and get your tension right again. Slip the cover on and then we'll just tighten this nut up here. Then I can rotate my chain here. So we know that's on correctly. It's not binding up or anything like that. So you'll see there is a tank here right by your chain. This is for an automatic lubrication system for your chain, which is pretty cool. Uh, a lot of people use uh, old engine oil as a lubricant, which does work, but it is bad for the environment, so they don't recommend that. You can buy chainsaw chain lubricant to put in here. Uh, so I'll leave that, guy, that up to you guys for whatever you want to do there. So next we want to install the hand guide or handle, the second handle. If you're going to grab this up here, that's going to, what, that's going to be what gives you control while you're using this. Uh, you're going to take the four nuts that are in the toolkit and push them into this section here. The bottom section is sort of has these openings that they slide right into like that. And this part right here is like a, a bushing that this handle slips around. So we'll slip it over top of that and slide the bottom part on there. Now we'll push our bolts down through and tighten them into those nuts that we put in the bottom part earlier. All right, so we got our handle on. Uh, I think we just got to get our pole sections put on here and then we'll be ready to put some gas in here and try this thing out. 
I think for full effect, we're going to go with a full length. Uh, get this thing nice and long, see how well it works. So I put these rubber caps on to protect the ends here. Inside is like a spline section. That is the drive shaft. You'll see a hole on the top. That's going to slide straight into this part. And then we can flip this black piece down. There we go. So we hold that down, that locks it in, and we just tighten this as we hold that black cap down. That's locked in. All right. Whoa. Put the last section on here. All right. Loosen that, flip that up. That slides in. You hear a little click. Flip that down. We'll just tighten this up. All right. So now we got all the sections on here. So now we just need to get fuel in it. And we're going to try this thing out. So always use oil mixed fuel. You want oil that's designed for two stroke engines. If you don't have any, don't think, hey, I don't, it's just a little job. I'll get by with regular gas. You will burn the engine up and ruin it. You gotta have oil mixed into your gas. All right. So this here recommends 50 to one. Uh, I do normally mix like 40 to one or 32 to one. Worst case, if you're not running it wide open, it'll foul your plugs a little sooner, but it is much worse. If you run it too lean, too low of a mixture ratio, you'll end up frying the engine completely. Uh, I'd rather replace a spark plug than an entire engine. It's just my personal opinion. It actually has a decent sized tank on there, so that's nice. Not gonna fill that up completely today though. All right. Oh, I noticed here in the toolkit actually send a chain sharpener along. So that's nice. It's time to try this thing out. Now to start it, you want to make sure your chain is in a safe location because it's so big. It's easy to have that sticking in the dirt or somewhere. Uh, so you want to make sure it's propped up or somewhere safe. Uh, we want to flip our switch here to on. There is a little button here. You can lock the throttle. You want to set that at half throttle or something. I'm going to try first to start it. Uh, with no throttle, there's a button on the bottom here. So that's pulling the gas out of the tank up into the carburetor. And then this here is the choke. So we'll flip that up. On a cold start, you want the choke on. Once it's warmed up, you shouldn't need that anymore. That's on. We'll give this thing a couple pulls here. Oh, I heard a fire there. All right, so it does want to start, but it seems like it might want a little throttle. So let's just lock that in and half throttle there. I'll try no choke a couple times. So it's running really nice and smooth. Took a few pulls to get it started. It ended up starting with the choke off and no throttle. So sometimes, depending on the weather, you might need the choke, you might need the choke off. I'm letting it warm up a here, warm up a little bit here. And the chain is not spinning right now at idle, which is good. So I have a couple of branches up here that I want to cut down. So let's try this thing out. All right. So it worked great with those all those tubing pieces attached at full length. I wouldn't say it's easy to, to hold and move around, but it got right up there. That was about the top of its reach. I mean, I was holding it out there. I'd say that's, I don't know, it's four foot above the peak of my garage there. So maybe that's 16 foot. Uh, so definitely get some nice reach. It's way safer than climbing the tree and using a chainsaw or working off a ladder with a chainsaw. You can stay on the ground and cut branches. So if you're looking for a pole chainsaw, this one runs really nice. It's a well-made kit. You get all the parts. You get the carrying case, the blade sharpener, the funnel, the mixing can, everything you need 
and it runs great. Everything seems like great quality. This Maxtra pole chainsaw is really nice. I'm really happy with it.